Two minutes after five, strength in numbers. That's the message right now in Seminole Heights. That community coming together while Tampa police search nonstop for a possible serial killer. These are the faces of the three people killed over a 10 day period. Benjamin Mitchell, Monica Hoffa and Anthony Naboa. All three shot to death within blocks of each other. Let's go live right now to ABC Action News anchor Lauren St. Germain live at Tampa Police Department headquarters. And Lauren, there was a very powerful community meeting last night. We played some sound bites from it off the top of the show. What was the big takeaway from that meeting? James, the big take home message was if you see something, say something. They were also reminding people of this reward, $25,000 from the ATF and TPD if you can give them any information. The turnout at that meeting was insane, standing room only. Let's go straight to that video. The Tampa police chief, interim police chief spoke and he was really raw and brutally honest. He even said someone in the crowd likely knows who the killer is. Investigators say they're looking at anyone as a potential suspect. We heard from victims' families as well as Mayor Bob Buckhorn. They're supporting us and they're actually helping us stand up and encouraging not only our families that are hurt, but everyone else in the community to do what is best and do what's right. That's how we're going to catch this guy. Good neighbors, telling police officers, good police work, and we will hunt this son of a down until we find them. So guys, take a look at your screen right now, because as of right now, this is the best evidence police have that you can help them with surveillance video near where the first murder happened on October 9th. We know it's grainy, but at least it's something we posted it on our Facebook page, our ABC Action News Facebook page. If you haven't shared it with your friends yet, please go to our Facebook page and share it so we can hopefully help Tampa police find this murderer. For now, reporting live in Tampa, I'm Lauren St. Germain for ABC Action News. Thanks.